This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. And what you're looking at here, guys, is a creepy humanoid robot with a face that has been made out of living skin tissue. This was developed by some researchers in Japan. And as if that wasn't crazy enough, check this out. Chinese scientists create Frankenstein robot that has a human brain. Chinese scientists have created a Frankenstein-like robot that is powered by a tiny human brain in a first-of-its-kind feat. The robot works by using a lab-grown brain organoid, a mass of cells, and a computer chip that interacts with the brain's nervous system. Now, I've been talking for a couple of decades now about transhumanism and the advancement of the, the merging of man and machine and it's being sold under the guise of convenience and also advancements in the field of medicine. Um, like for example, check this out, this just came out a couple days ago. Uh, bionic legs plugged directly into the nervous system can enable unprecedented levels of brain control. Uh, or you have this, just came out as well, uh, AI can now predict Alzheimer's seven years before onset with 70% accuracy according to this new study. So again, we're being sold uh, under the idea that these advancements in, in technology are going to be to the betterment of society uh, because of the advancements we're seeing in the field of medicine, but what happens? when this technology enters into the Orwellian realm. Well, check this out, guys. Mind-reading AI can now recreate what you are looking at with amazing accuracy. This is pretty wild. The images, the images that you see here on the top are the, the, the real images that were observed. The second row here is the AI program analyzing the activity in the brain and recreating these images to this crazy level of accuracy just based on what they're seeing in your brain. I mean, if AI can, can recreate this from simply analyzing the brain waves of an image you are looking at, what do you think they can do when it comes to the things that you are thinking about, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we're going to talk about all of that and much more in this video. But really quickly, before we do, I'd ask that you check me out here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this info. Here you can do a one-time donation with PayPal. Uh, you can do Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You could sign up here as a Patreon alternative, this is a monthly reoccurring contribution. You could put five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, um, whatever is within your means is greatly appreciated, guys. You can also do that by clicking here at subscribe star. Um, you can send uh, e-transfers to dan at pressfortruth.ca or you can send stuff to my PO box, guys. Links for all of this are located in the description below. Thank you so much to everybody who takes a minute today to support my efforts here at Press for Truth. As I said, this uh, th this technology <laughs> that I've been talking about for decades now is absolutely getting out of hand now with AI being able to essentially uh, re read your mind, essentially, and be able to come up with an accurate depiction of something that you are looking at based on your brain activity. That That's already venturing into the, the realm of... Uh, mind reading. Uh, artificial intelligence systems can now recreate remarkably accurate reconstructions of what someone is looking at based on recordings of their brain activity. You know guys, it's been said for a long time that technology is a double-edged sword. Uh, obviously it can be used for the betterment of society or for the d detriment of society. Uh, just like the the sword itself, or or like a knife, can be used by a surgeon to save somebody's life, or it can be used by a psychopath to to take someone's life. So it's not the it, it's not the technology, so to speak, that is the problem, but it's how this technology is potentially going to be used in the future, which we have to be. Uh, uh, careful of and, and, and constantly, you know, uh, uh, on the lookout for, um, because check this out, these reconstructed images are greatly improved when the AI learns which parts of the brain to pay attention to. Um, so that's what's going on in this, uh, the, the, the bottom row. Uh, this is what the AI was reconstructing uh, when 
it was just trying to figure it out and then when it realized what area of the brain to focus in on it was able to come up with the second row of images which is almost almost perfect and like I said if they can analyze your brain waves and come up with an image I mean how far off do you think we are from them being able to analyze y your thoughts and to come up with a direct model of the things that you are thinking about I mean I think to this at this stage in the game we've all experienced you know uh, having having this thing around you and maybe you start talking about certain products and then all of a sudden lo and behold remarkably you start seeing advertisements on this thing for the very things that you were just openly talking about well how far away do you think we are from getting to the point of now being able to just think about a particular thing and eventually having that pop up to you in your feed. And in the beginning, obviously, a lot of this is being sold to marketers as a way to sell products. But what happens when the technology can read your brain waves and, and your brain activity and it points to you potentially doing something bad in the near future. You know, this is venturing into the minority report type of pre-thought crime uh, uh, area of, of the Orwellian nightmare that the technology today is now starting to show us that this is very possible. I mean... <laughs> You could track this back to the formation of gunpowder in the 9th century. And then ever since then, there's been a, 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 a race, f you know, for, for more technologically advanced warfare. Right on up to, you know, uh, nuclear capabilities being developed in the 20th century. And now the 21st century, uh, human beings are the direct target with AI computers and, and, and machines that can analyze our, our very brain waves and come up with a, a, a picture of not just what we're looking at, but eventually what we're thinking about as well. Um, this article goes on to say here, um, as far as I know, these are the cl closest, most accurate reconstructions um, that they've seen uh, at this university in the Netherlands. His team is one of several around the world using AI systems to work out what animals or people are seeing from brain recordings and scans. In one previous study, his team used a functional MRI scanner to record the brain activity of three people as they were shown a series of photographs. But look at this. In another study, they used implanted electrode, uh, electrode arrays to directly record the brain activity of a single macaque monkey as it looked at AI generated images. This implant was done for the purposes, um, for other purposes by another team, uh, he says, at the university. The macaque was not implanted so that we can do reconstruction of perception. That's not a good argument to do the surgery on animals. The team has now uh, reanalyzed the data from these previous studies using an improvised AI system that can learn which parts of the brain that it should pay most attention to. And again, what's to stop it from, you know, from them from training this AI model to be able to focus on the uh, on the areas of the brain where they can generate uh, an image or maybe a series of texts that would depict precisely what you are thinking about, what you are dreaming about, your hopes, your aspirations. Um, the things that you were against, where you lean religiously, where you lean politically. All of these things are not out of the realm of capability now with this AI technology that, as I said, is being sold on the guise of convenience and advances in, 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 in medicine. But this is leading us closer towards this Orwellian nightmare where even the very things that you think will potentially be subject to the surveillance, uh, surveillance uh, control grid. So this is just wild. I mean, we're already seeing the merging of, of man and machine in, in this transhumanism uh, era. I mean, they literally have robots with like fleshy human type brains and they're giving these creepy 
human tissue faces t t to robots. So as if that wasn't creepy enough, taking it one step further is giving these robots the ability to read our very own thoughts. And they can already do it by, you know, uh, recreating the images that you're looking at. But how far away do you guys think they are from being able to, you know, essentially read your very thoughts? Are we already there? You know, uh, it, mostly when this, you know, the, the military develops this technology, the general population doesn't find out about it till 30, 40, sometimes 50 years later. So if we are now getting access to this type of technology, how much more advanced do you think it really is? At this stage in the game, do you guys think it can already read your thoughts and get an accurate prediction of not only your, you know, your thoughts and your feelings and your hopes and aspirations, but also the things that you might be against, that the, the things that might you know, it, it, it expose the system and, and the globalist elitist. And if you try to go against the status quo, can they see that before you even do it? I mean, that seems to be the realm that we're venturing into here. And uh, again, don't don't be fooled and and sold uh, this technology under the guise of it's going to make your your life easier and it's going to you know give some you know people the ability to predict Alzheimer's or to be able to use their brains to walk with prosthetic uh, limbs. I mean, these all sound like great things, but unfortunately this technology is in the hands of the global elite who are setting up this global surveillance control grid. And, uh, you know, when we're venturing into the area of mind reading AI that can recreate what you're looking at, I don't think we're that far off from venturing into the area of uh, mind reading AI being able to 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 basically, you know, predict your your very own hopes, dreams, aspirations and and the things that you were against as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are we are we already there or is this something that we're going to, you know, hear about uh, in, you know, a short time from now? Um, just wanted to bring all of that to your attention, guys. Pretty crazy stuff. Once again, don't forget to check me out here, pressfortruth.ca slash donate if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this information. Once again, thank you ev to, to everybody who takes one minute today to do so. I can't continue to do this work without the support coming directly from you, the viewer. That's all for today, guys. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button, share this video, and stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.